Flipper zero. Flipper zero. So flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. So flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. Flipper zero. <laughs> Am I right? So what is this device actually? Let's find out. So right here as you can see we have got the Flipper Zero. Now I've got this shot so you can actually see what this device looks like and what all functionalities it has that you can use to hack into stuff. So here as you can see we have got a Flipper Zero guide so once you purchase the device you'll get it with. Uh, there is one micro SD card so it is showing you how to install the micro SD card, how to power the device on. Uh, updating the firmware, rebooting and I'll be showing all of this to you in the video so just stay tuned. So this micro SD card is actually used to store whatever data you are capturing with this device. Then we have got the USB-C type charger right here so you can charge it with a USB-C and you have also have to connect it to the computer a few times. Right here as you can see we have got the GPIO pins. So the GPIO pins can be used to connect more devices or extensions by the flipper community 2024 the flipper community has released another video game module that you can use to play video games on this device and here as you can see we have got the ir sensor now the ir sensor is used to read and emulate all sorts of ir devices basically tv remotes ac remotes etc etc so as you can see right here we have got the i button reader i button is a sort of key that people use these days so you can just basically put it behind this and it snaps right in and you can encode the i button to something else and you can make it do wondrous things so before we move on and find out all the functionality that this device has, let me tell you what Flipper Zero actually is. So this device is nothing new actually, it is just a combination of the best parts of all hacking devices put together. So in this Flipper Zero you will find out that there is nothing new that we don't already know and there is not already a tool for it. It is just put together in a way that you have one device which can do it all. So let's just jump right in and explore the first functionality which is IR. So as you can see I've got a TV remote in front of me and uh, we'll be using IR to detect the IR frequency of this remote and then emulating it. So we are going to go on infrared then uh, we have got an option for universal remotes. So here you can find the default signatures of all these devices that is globally and then we are going to select a learn a new remote and then it started listening for IR signatures through this little thing right here. So we are just gonna select learn a new remote. Then we are gonna take this TV remote and we are gonna press this button right here. So as you can see we captured the IR frequency of this button right here. So once we send this frequency it is going to act as if this button is being pressed. So if I hold this in front of a television and I press this button, it will act like the power on and off button is getting pressed. So what this device basically does it is that it captures the frequency and then emulates it. If you don't have a remote and you want to still toggle with the TV and you are wondering how those videos come up on the internet where people are closing on billboard screens with the Flipper Zero, it's through the universal remote function. So you can try these, but if it does not work, that means you have to use an actual remote. Next up, we have got sub GHS and here I have a car keys. So this car keys basically uses radio signatures to send a, a special key to the car. And what the Flipper Zero will do is that it will capture the signature and it will emulate it so that the car can read it. So this became a threat so now modern cars follow a structure that is not vulnerable to this hack. So basically what they do, the car key sends a signal to the car and it changes every time you press these buttons and only the car and the key know that what the next change is going to be. So they have a certain language in which they communicate. Every single time the language changes and only those both know what will be the next language. So what we can do with this is that we can capture the first one and then we can keep trying but it is futile because every time they will have a new language. So let's uh, just go on redraw. Here I'm going to start recording and I'm going to press this button right here. So as you can see we noticed a slight change in the frequency again and again and again and again and again till we stop it. 
So basically what this is doing is that it is capturing all the data that my car key is sending and all of this is different data onto the same frequency. So I hope you understood that. Next up, we are going to be fiddling with RFID. So there are two types of RFID. One is 125 kilohertz, other is NFC. And the Flipper Zero will allow you to capture both of them. So right here, I have a 125 kilohertz RFID. If you have an NFC, that will work exactly the same. So I'll go right here and I'll go on read. All I have to do is that I have to place this on the back. So naturally, it read it. And if I press more, I emulate it and as you can see it is emulating so whatever thing that this RFID holds once emulated it will naturally just open the lock now this is the RFID to a garage door and if I just put it onto the garage door it will automatically open it lastly we'll be using the bad USB now for this we have to jump onto the computer because as the name suggests it will be acting as a malicious USB device So now that our Flipper Zero is connected, we are up and running on the app that Flipper has for Mac. And here if you go on this right here, which is the file manager of the SD card on the Flipper, we go on SD card, bad USB, then we go on demo Mac OS. If you just go right here and we can download the file, I already have it downloaded right here. So let's just analyze what it is doing here. All right. So as you can see, uh, we have got a list of commands. So this is basically instructing the flipper on what to do on the device. So as you can see, delay one second, then space, then delay 500, then type terminal, then delay 500, enter and so on. So basically our flipper is behaving as a keyboard and it can type anything on the target system in seconds. So if you want to retrieve any information on any system, you just program the Flipper Zero like this. If you want a separate video on how to program it, I will. But in this video, I'm just showing you a demo on how the Flipper Zero works. So I'm going to just run the demo script that Flipper has installed in default for macOS. And let me show you how it works. We are going to just go back. And on the Flipper Zero, I'm going to click Bad USB, then Demo Mac OS. I'm just going to press it, then I'm going to press Run, and it will start running. So as you can see on my Mac, it is typing, I don't know how many words per minute. So I already had tested this before, but as you can see, we have got this demo right here. And we have got this demo right here. And as you can see, Flipper Bad USB feature is compatible with USB rubber ducky script format. And you can learn how to code. And there are tons of payloads out there on GitHub, which you can just copy and paste if you don't want to learn the entire thing on how to write your own payload. But if you want, just leave it down in the comments below and I will make a video on that. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button down there. And if you are into cybersecurity, ethical hacking, uh, be sure you click that subscribe button down there. And until then, Keep hacking.